Here we are again. I have to hurry. Hurry up, Chippy. You got to get on. I'll let him wait till he goes. I only got five minutes, eh? Uh huh. And this is what you call phasing a guy out. You know what I mean? At least you're still in the phasing. Yeah, phase. yeah. You're phased out. Anyhow, uh, I got to talk over the even the little Chippy. I need you. Move him. At least never mind moving him. Just leave him alone. Loud. It's irritating. All right, well, irritating to you. Anyhow, look at my tie. I'm the Maple Leaf guy, right? Yes. All the way. I own season seats. I, I walk the walk. I've been a, ever since I was a little boy. I've been a late Maple Leaf fan, and I want them to do good. So, Brendan, I know you're watching right now. I just want you to tell. Now, last year before you became president or whatever you are, I predicted on the L.A. Kings they had 15 Canadians on. They had eight guys from the OHL. I predicted the Maple Leafs would not draft a Canadian, especially guys from the OHL. The, uh, let me just tell you that the uh, L.A. Kings, the Stanley Cup champions, drafted seven guys. They drafted a Swede, but they drafted seven guys from the OHL. You know how many Canadians the Maple Leafs drafted? Zero. The only other team that didn't draft in the National Hockey League, a Canadian, was the other loser, Washington. They drafted none. So what do we say? Who did they pick? They picked the little guy. We won't say who it is. They sent him back to Sweden to save his life. They pass on a guy, Nick Ritchie, who is six foot three, 230 pounds, 100 minutes of penalties. Oh, you're going to say he's a dummy, eh? It, only three guys in the whole draft scored more goals than this guy. And guess who picked them up right after that? Anaheim and Bob Murray, who was executive of the year. They couldn't believe that you'd pass on a guy six foot three that is tough, that can score goals with beautiful hands. Now you're going to say, you, you predicted this. I cannot believe this happened. I am the guy that was with them the whole time. Now you figured it out, Ron. On the other side of the world is L.A., they take, you know, they take the OHL guys. Let's see the Mike young player. He's been Mike Fuda is unbelievable. I was going to get him in. Toffoli, GTHL guy. You go down the list. Uh, Pearson going to be a beauty. Down the road here at Coburg, we have Williams, who's the MVP. They know what they're doing. They drafted Canadians, and every year we go in, we I put on on the NHL. How many Canadians are on the team? And what do we do here in Toronto? No guy from that is a star will ever come here. Nobody will have come here to Toronto. Why would you? For various reasons I won't go into. So you have to go through the draft. They have not had an impact guy since Wendell Clark. They have not had a guy since I Am I through already? No, 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 no. Oh, we got yeah. two minutes. Uh, but could Nylander turn out to be, let's say, Kopitar? Listen. LA's got at least listen, that. Listen, you know. the big thing that they're talking about. Yeah, Kopitar is six foot two. What they need in this team is a big, tough wingers. They don't need another little wee forward. They've got enough of those guys out here right now. Now, let me just say it. I only got two minutes. I'll say it here, here again. Let's go over the whole thing again. We have the Stanley Cup champions who have won two out of three Stanley Cups, right? They're full of Canadians, full of guys from the OHL, the GTHL too, and they win two out of three. On the other hand, we have the Leafs who made the playoffs once in 14 years, and they draft U.S. college guys, and they draft a swim in a feed. You're telling me, everybody asks me, why the Leafs are they where they are right now? The only impact they've guys they've ever drafted is Wendell Clark in the last 18 years. And I'm a guy, and I'm saying it, I'm not anymore. I don't care. That's the way it is, and that's the way it is for why, me. That's good. Why don't you uh, show your eerie honors? Just, I got time? Yes, just show that. All it's right, okay. Fun. Now, Jay McKee, fun, Sherry Basket, and Connie McDavid, he's got eight points in the last... And then Nick Betts, there it is. It, it, what happened was they rewarded everybody for when they, uh, when they scored a goal in that there. They got in beautiful suits, less dressed like Don Cherry. There's uh, Makovic, I like a good kid. Now, here's my favorite right here. I watched this kid. I watched all these kids in the GTHL. They don't have a chance. And there's Taylor right there. They don't have a chance to play for the Toronto Maple Leafs because they come from Toronto and they come to 40,000 kids in the GTHL, more junior clubs around Toronto, any place in the world, and we draft kids from foreign lands. That's why the Leafs are like they are and Brendan, they'll be for a long time. I'm sure it dawned on you. You can con a lot of folks, but uh, without the can con, dawn on you. We'll have a whole different meeting on the Coach's Corner on Hockey Night in Canada on Rogers. Uh, play this again.